Hey guys, so I was randomly watching another person that I subscribed to called Sardon1 and she did a video called YouTube Made Me Do It. So this is what this video is going to be entitled, YouTube Made Me Do It. And basically that means um, I watched a video on YouTube and I was so compelled by what the people were saying that I bought the products. And um, that could be either a good thing or a bad thing. And so I've got a list of a couple of different things that I bought from watching YouTube videos. Um, and most of them, luckily, have been really great products and I've really enjoyed them and gotten a lot of use out of them. But there are a couple of doozies and I just wanted to kind of put those out there just to let you know. Um, there are a couple of great people on YouTube that I really respect their opinion. One of them being Candy Johnson and the other being... Uh, Lisa SC09, she does absolutely fantastic reviews. I know I've said that before and I just taped a video where I was talking about that. Um, but I want to go through some of my favorite products that I bought because of YouTube. I'm going to start with the ones that I liked. So the first one I bought and I think is the most economical and also the one that I've gotten the most use out of is the Coastal Sense 88 Shimmer Palette. So I'm sure most of you are familiar with this and I'm sure that a lot of you actually have this palette yourself. But it has 88 very pigmented shimmery shadows in it. And I absolutely love this palette because it allows you to have 88 colors and most of them are colors you probably wouldn't opt to buy on your own or you wouldn't buy because you might think you wouldn't use it that often. And so it's great for that fact because it allows you to have a, a wide variety of colors you probably wouldn't have access to otherwise. But it also allows you to really experiment with color combinations, trying some bold things, mixing colors, experimenting with things that you wouldn't normally try. And that really has helped me to branch out a lot um, in terms of my makeup application. And so I really love this palette. It's very affordable. So the second two things that YouTube made me buy were bronzers. And I believe I saw both of these bronzers on uh, All That Glitters 21 and... Juicy Star 07. And the first that I bought was from Benefit. It's their 10 Highlight Bronzer Duo. And I saw a lot of great reviews on this. People just raving about how much they loved this product. And I just went to Sephora one day and I was like, I have to have it. So I bought it and I am so glad that I did because it is one of the most versatile products that I have. And I use it um, multiple times throughout every week and I love the highlight because it's just this really nice light shimmery pink. The bronze isn't too dark, it's not too orange, and it's not too shimmery and it's really easy to use. You really can't go wrong with this palette. The other one that I saw on, I believe it was All That Glitters 21, was a bronzer from NARS called Laguna and when I went to Sephora they didn't have just the Laguna bronzer so I bought the uh, Laguna and Orgasm Duo and I'm actually really glad that I did because I love Orgasm as a blush and it reminds me very much of a blush that I have from MAC called Spring Sheen. This, this blush is a little bit more shimmery than the one from MAC but nonetheless I do love it. One thing I really have been enjoying about getting this specific palette is that I can sometimes mix both colors when I'm applying them as my bronzer on my brush. Apply it over my face and it gives you that little bit of rosiness to your face than just sort of the glow of a bronzy effect. So I absolutely love NARS Laguna. Something that I came across from watching another person that I subscribed to was Emily Knoll. She does a lot of drugstore shopping and most of the makeup she tries to make videos with is drugstore makeup. So if you like drugstore makeup you should check out her videos. But I hadn't been in Walmart um, looking for makeup recently but apparently they started carrying a brand called Hard Candy which up until what I thought recently was a high-end brand that they used to sell at um, high-end department stores. So I don't know if there's been a change in the company or whatever. I saw in her video that she tried some of their products, one being a lipstick, and I tried a lipstick called No Peeking. It's a really, really bright pink, like hot pink lipstick. And I absolutely love this lipstick. Um, the color is great. It uh, is very smooth, it's moisturizing, and the packaging is really cute, and it's also very affordable. So I've been really glad that I've tried this hard candy brand from Walmart. Something that I saw on another uh, video channel that I really enjoy was um, Rimmel Sexy Curves Mascara. And I believe I watched this on Pixie Woo's channel, and I saw the application she did with this, and I went to uh, my local grocery store, and I was really excited to found to found. I was really excited to find that they started carrying Rimmel in my grocery store and I just did a review and a haul on this recently. This is like my new favorite mascara. 
And then the last thing I'm going to post a review on very shortly is the Saint Tropez um, Self Tan Bronzing Mousse. And I believe I saw this originally on Candy Johnson's channel, but I also saw reviews on this on uh, Lisa SC09, and I was so compelled to buy this product because of their reviews and their raves about it. Um, and I'm so glad I did because I am like the palest person on the face of the planet, and I like the ability of achieving some color either in a gradual way or in a more dramatic way without actually having to go in the sun and damage my skin. So those are kind of my favorite products that I've purchased from YouTube specifically. So now I'm going to move on to the things that I regret buying from YouTube. And sadly, two of these things are things that I first came across on Candy Johnson's channel. Um, but I just think that we might have slightly different skin types and maybe these products weren't going to work as well for me. And two of these things were foundations. The first was L'Oreal's True Match Foundation. And I was really excited about trying this in the store because they have a wide uh, range of color selection. And um, she raved about how this was an excellent drugstore product. And I tried it a couple of times and I actually bought two colors because I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to be. And neither one of them really worked out right. And I really did not like the texture of this foundation or the smell of it. And I'm not that uber sensitive to smell when it comes to most things. But there was something about the smell of this product that really turned me off. And I tried it a couple of times and basically was done with it. The second is another foundation. And this is Laura Mercier's Oil Free Foundation. And this foundation is actually supposed to be really good for oil, oily skin. Um, and when I originally bought this, I actually really liked the product. And then I had so many other things that I was testing out that I stopped using it for a while. And I went back to using it a couple of weeks ago and I made an effort to use it every day for an entire week. And after the first day of wearing it, I came home and I realized that my skin looked really splotchy and uneven. Like the foundation kind of wore off in some places and it kind of shifted in some places and I was really unhappy with the way my face looked and then I wore it again the following day and I had to blot um, at some point throughout the day and I didn't actually put any powder on that day I just um, put a translucent powder on to set the foundation and when I just lightly tapped on my face with the powder or with the blot powder or with the little paper towel that I was using all this color transferred off onto the paper towel and I hadn't used any tinted powder so it was basically the foundation that was just like wiping off my face. But this stuff just was like liquid slick all over my face. And I was really disappointed with that because this foundation is $40 for this bottle. And I had done a review of it in the beginning when I originally got it and had tested it and was really pleased with it. Um, and I wanted to come out here and talk about this because I don't want my words to be untruthful. And... I am absolutely like hating this foundation now. It has this cap that comes on the top and if you try to pick up the product by the lid what you'll find is the foundation will completely fall off and I never dropped this it just doesn't stay on and I think for a $40 foundation for the cap not to stay on is kind of unacceptable and especially since I didn't realize it the first few times when I picked it up out of my makeup container and I almost dropped this a couple of times and there's nothing worse than possibly breaking something that costs this much and I'm terrible with dropping powders as it is. So I've just become really dissatisfied with this foundation and I'm constantly on the lookout for the next newest thing and I really want to try um, Makeup Forever's HD foundation and I've also been hearing a lot of really good things about Chanel's Pro Lumiere foundation but I am looking for that like perfect foundation that's going to make my skin look flawless so that you know everyone has those self-conscious areas and my personal thing feeling on um, makeup like that is I'm okay with spending the money if it's going to do what it says it's going to do and if it's going to like make me look perfect it's worth it um, and the other thing about it is for a bottle like this, I've had this I think for three or four months and you can see that I've made a little bit of a dent in the product, but it's still mostly filled. I only use one squirt of this um, for application of makeup to my entire face and so it will last a long time. So that's something else to consider is if you're going to use it for a long time it's and it's expensive, it's worth it because you're going to get more use out of it. But anyways, so I absolutely hate Laura Mercier's uh, Oil Free Foundation and I'm in the color Blush Ivory. So I hope this was helpful for you and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.